morning guys welcome to today's video we are ready to go out and get some stuff done around the farm we finished homeschool so we finished it i actually have moved our dining room around again this space is such uh awkward space i see everybody running out the window there um so this is technically our dining room but because we have that space over there we've decided to make this an office and I don't know it's just so awkward we I, I miss having carpets but with four dogs who are out on a farm running all day I just don't feel comfortable with carpets because they're gonna get so dirty so I moved it around again I moved that that table over there that the girls use as a desk and this is it for now I also wanted to give you a little update on the pea chick because somebody asked yesterday and it's not going well you guys pea chicks can be really difficult especially when you have one all by itself so this is it this is his bed uh he's doing well in terms of he's alive um essentially i he's got some problems and i don't know where they've come from so when the other one died instantly he stopped flying and i we mistakenly thought that it was depression because obviously his best friend died and he's all alone we take him out so many times a day to spend time with them so what i think happened is that we found we had a really hard time getting them to eat which is common in pea fowl especially without the mom the mom has to work really hard to get them to eat so because he wouldn't eat we ended up giving him a bunch of mealworms and he, they love mealworms so it made them eat and i mistakenly thought that like at least he's eating but very quickly he started eating the mealworms more than he was eating his little grit stuff there and he needs that stuff for nutrition so i think he's nutritionally challenged a little bit right now he's got some egg in there and a couple of mealworms um and then his grit i also added a bunch of vitamins to his water which he just drank and i noticed that he's perking up a little he's not like seriously ill or anything i just noticed that he's not quite the way he used to be so he is growing he's grown a lot and he's doing a little bit better they definitely don't eat the same way chicks do baby chicks do so it's just it's been a journey it's been a lesson and love this little guy loves me and i love him and i'm hoping that he makes it but anyway that's the update unfortunately it's not as good of an update as i wanted to give we're just weaning him back on we're just weaning him now onto the little food that he eats he eats a uh, game bird grower so hopefully let's just pray the rooster doesn't oh my gosh the rooster doesn't bother me oh god so in other news uh the farms around us are putting pig poop on their fields <laughs> it started last night <laughs> let me tell you it does not smell good out here but it's a necessary evil has to happen it's super quiet in the barn that is not a good sign uh oh what is happening what is happening what? i swear to god when you're dealing with animals anything can go wrong all right let me explain so this sweet girl came into heat today and we knew we wanted to breed her on her very first day of heat because if you breed a goat on the very first day and then don't breed it again you're more likely to get all does or at least mostly does so that was our plan and we threw them outside together and the buck was incredibly distracted are you stuck go through the door the buck was incredibly she's peeing the buck was incredibly distracted and kept on charging the fence to tell tell all the other goats to stay away from his girl and we wanted to have her bread today because after today she might have more boys Come on, come on, you can get it. Come on, come on, everybody out. Oh, good girl, come on. We ended up deciding to just make a breeding room, a breeding stall, and that's what we did. Sophie, you wouldn't believe where she was. She was inside of the little house, goat house, and the lid was popped open, and she was just standing there. 
I need to put her with her family. So now you're all caught up. We made a breeding stall. We put the two goats in there and we were, what? We were able to watch them breed successfully. So as of now, I believe two of our goats are successfully bred. What's the matter, big girl? What? I'm coming up there. We're gonna work until we're gonna do something together. Okay, I'll be there. Just wait for me. So we successfully, I think, breeded bred two goats on our first try. Cool. Was it hard? Yes. <laughs> it was so hard. She's so pretty. There's truly been a lot of goat shenanigans going on. Once I thought Ellie was a handful. And then, we got goats. And then, we got a buck. That was the real straw that broke the camel's back. That buck, but hopefully he'll be leaving soon. We're gonna keep him for another month because uh, I just need to make sure that they're bred. Hi, honey. I mean, hi, Pen. You wanna let's go for a walk? We're gonna go do something. I was thinking, well, somebody suggested that I do showmanship and stuff like that with Penny. I want something that we can do together this winter. So we're gonna try it. What do you think, Pen? You wanna do some showmanship with me? Our horses continue to keep their food area clean. I love this. I am loving this. There's not one pile of poop near their food. They poop all over there in the grass. And they did this before in our old arena. They would always go to the back and poop back there. So it's a little trickier to pick up on the grass over there. But I love it. I can't believe it. It makes me incredibly happy. Our hay bale has turned into a hay pancake. But I don't mind it. And the reason I don't mind it is because I much prefer them eating with their head down in the natural position. I am a little worried about Storm with his shoes. Sam's still working on, what's wrong, is there bugs? Sam's still working on getting a house for this hay bale. What's happening here? One of the big things that I was worried about with the round bale was that our more dominant horses would prevent the less dominant horses from eating. And so far it's been going so well. They literally, have been sharing incredibly well, and anytime a less dominant horse feels threatened, they just go down and eat the grass. Whoa, Ellie just almost took me out. So it is chore time, and I am going to try and pick up all that poop out there. We may have it all Up the ladder, down the wall Different mysteries Full life mixed with tears We are happy most of the time And we get along better and fine Left and right we braid Through the ups and downs we sway Either way. All right, this is impossible. It's impossible to pick poop up out of grass. You want to do some stuff? Don't yeah? Care. Let me come in with this wagon first. Don't run off. I'm coming to get you. You're going to braid her hair? Yeah. Oh, it's cute. Look at how cute that That's is. That's the piece that sticks up here. Oh, it's so cute. I know you've heard it all before, but you are the love of my life. I knew when you came through the door that you are the love of my life. Gabby is away, I will steal her spot. With you around. No bombard. 
So bigger means farther apart? Yeah. Oh. All right, so what are we doing today? Um, showmanship. Showmanship? So you're going to show me how to do it? Sure, I'll go first. Catch your horse first before she goes in that field. Oh, no. Penny, come back. <laughs> um, for anyone thinking, for anyone who thinks that giving your horse treats is bad, that's old fashioned, sister. <laughs> it's a reinforcement training. It's wildly popular and backed by science and is ages old. And yeah, the reason that I love it for my horse is because it aligns more with my core values. And I find that you get way better, faster results with a happier horse because the horse actually thinks of itself as a partner, a willing partner, instead of being forced to do something. I think it would be so good for horses like Storm. So this is what I'm doing. You're supposed to trot right away. All right, maybe we need 10 minutes to practice. No, wait, it's trot out. Oops. All right, so Sophie needs to use the flag because her horse is lazy. I might use the flag myself. It's gonna be my first time doing it. So basically, you start at the end, you trot over here to the judge. Show it to me again, I'm old. Sit up, set up, pivot, and then trot out. All right, let me have a try. Oh, oh, now. Nothing's hard, everything is easy. wrong you're supposed to push her okay here I'll show you how to pivot so go like this that's dragging I know I need to figure out how to pivot okay I can't do it with this so so I stand at the shoulder okay that's not good pivoting either okay, but she doesn't know how to do it i know i'm just saying to the viewers like we know that we're not doing pivoting perfectly but we're going to be getting new lessons soon anytime now nothing's hard everything is easy I don't know how to pivot. I just want to try pivoting. So she's going to show me on my horse. She also says my horse is not running or like trotting. Well, she might a little faster. Remember, she's an old girl. That was okay. That was okay. Sophie's just saying how like only her ponies only listen to her. And it's the same. Like last night when we came to let the horses in. Sam does my horse and I go down to the barn to do the goats with Sophie. And he said, Laura, she's not coming in for me. And I said, that's, no, that's okay. And I just took her and she just listens to me. Like, okay, so I'm doing those ones. She's doing these ones. She's extra special. You just weave them. Oh, that's it? You just weave them? Um, 
but she doesn't do that. All right, come and she, she says my horse doesn't do it. You just watch. We're old and we, we we admit it. We're old and it's okay, huh? She's like, speak for yourself. We're old. I love her. That was perfect. Yeah. Because it's too skinny. You gotta give her more, more rope. Stop yeah. hurting the goat. You gotta get Ellie to herd instead of Molly because Ellie wants to herd. Ellie is a herding dog. You a herding dog, Ellie? Molly, you got your work cut out for you. I still can't find a herding class for you. Sophie's way of getting a little worked out without doing it herself. <laughs> well, Sophie is wishing Honey had Willow's personality. Yeah. Look at Willow! What do you mean? I wish she also had Willow's crooked stripe. But what do you mean? Like, what is Honey lacking? Like the speedy pony. So, Honey, Pen, no. Willow is so trained by Sophie that she knows exactly what they're about to do before they even do it, so she gets ready and she just goes right into it. Yeah, she's Honey rolling flat past me. is a bit more lazy and she has to, like, show her, but I think it's just because she's young and she doesn't know yet. Like when she's 20, she'll be the same. She'll have had her whole life working with you. Also, when Sophie was lunging, she only lunges in a few minutes a month. She it's not even a month, I don't even do it monthly. Yeah, she just does it every once in a while just to like get her listening to her and just to like show her what to do. It's not meant to lunge her or exercise her. It's just a little tiny bit while she's young to train her. Don't you know that you're beautiful?